hi everyone this is Mr. Fong here um, this week we are going to draw a mouse so please follow my instruction here first go to basic shapes we are going to use half sphere so just click and drag onto this um, uh, work plane and I would like you to turn this around to 180 minus 180 degree uh, then I want you to drag the cone and now I want you to try to put this cone on top of this half sphere okay how to do this okay let's zoom in a bit remember use your mouse wheel to zoom in and when you click on this um, cone you can see there are white color dot and a black color uh, triangle the black color is to move, uh, but the white color is to change the size. Okay, remember to change the camera view, try to get a good camera view. Now you can drag, okay, you can always drag this thing. And um, there are a few ways of um, aligning this properly. Okay, let me just increase the height of this uh, jack. Okay. If you want to make it easy, you can use a work plane. Okay. When using a work plane, you can see we are trying to put this cone on top of this sphere. After you put in the work plane, you can press, you can select the cone and press D so that both will align properly. After that, you can change the camera view. You can click wood plane again and somewhere else so that you can see both of these are now aligned properly. Okay, now let's do this first before we move on. You can pause the video and you can continue, try yourself before we move on. Great. Now, I want you to um, select both objects and group them together. Now they have become one object. Move this to 90 degree. And you can place the object on top of this plane by pressing D. Okay. I would like to cut this uh, object to half because we are drawing a mouse now. And to cut this into half, I would like you to use um, a box. You right? can use a box. Okay, when you select a box, use the white color dot to adjust the height of your box. Okay, use your angle. This um, actually. You can just move the box. Okay, just move the box. It's a bit difficult now because you need to cut this mouse, uh, this sphere into half. So you can look at how I align this. You can always use the black color dot to adjust the height of this object and use the arrow key on your keyboard to adjust the, the width and alignment okay when you move the camera to the right hand side you notice this area is not being covered so you can use your mouse or use your keyboard to make sure the entire area has been covered now select the box and select hole. We are going to cut this into half. Okay. To cut this into half, select the whole both object, group them. Now you notice it has been cut into half. Press D so that the object will be uh, place on top of the work plane again. Okay, well now we have completed the basic shape of a mouse. I would like you to 
that ears of your mouse and the eyes of your mouse. Okay, move the camera. Okay, you can always move the camera to the angle you like. Okay. Okay, or you can just click here if you want to align it easily. Okay, I would like you to choose um, this shape. And let's look at here. Really, is there any shape that we can use? Something that is round. Oh, probably a cylinder would be good. Okay, drag the cylinder. Okay, it's not too big. Let's zoom out a bit. And we can reduce the size by holding the shift key. Oh, it's too big. Mm -hmm. So after you turn, um, we have to reduce the size first. Okay, we have to reduce the size. Click here. Mm, it's too, too big. Mm. Okay, now you can reduce the size without holding down the shift key so that we have a thinner uh, mouse here hmm. done now we have to align this properly it is still too big to me so i think i should reduce more the one one mm thick okay first i would like to make it um 90 degree okay you can choose to enter 90 degree here minus 90 move your hmm, uh, move the camera and is this the size that you want for your mouse mouse here okay, try to align it properly Use the black color triangle to adjust the height and then move your mouse to find out whether it has aligned properly. Uh, okay, so we check this side, still too high. So I want you to move down a bit. Okay, this is to move it down. Now you can see the mouse is embedded the gear is now embedded inside the object we will group them together later but before that you need to make sure the gear are aligned properly okay if this is fine if you click if you think this the gear is big enough okay let's look at this hmm. okay what i want you to do next is duplicate this object by pressing Ctrl D. Once you press Ctrl D, you notice that you can pull this object to the right hand side without much problem. Okay, you can always use your keyboard to move the uh, gear to the right hand side. Okay, if this is fine, if this is done, we need to add um, an eye, uh, one pair of eye for the mouse um, you can use this uh, sphere okay let me reduce the size it's too big okay slowly reduce the size hmm. adjust it to the right size then always remember Use a black color triangle to adjust the uh, eye to the height of the mouse. Okay. Check whether this is right. If this is correct, Okay, let me try to adjust again okay um if this is properly aligned is it properly aligned check oh it's not perfect we can put in some more okay a bit mm. okay if this is fine 
what you can do now is to create the left eyes of your mouse by pressing Ctrl D. After pressing Ctrl D, you can just use your uh, keyboard to adjust the position of the eye. Okay, finally, Mm. Okay, you can um yeah, put the eyes bit. Yep, fine. So now I want you to draw another sphere or uh, circle, but this time don't need to hold down the control key. Mm. Reduce the size. And now use the positioning to position this sphere and make it become the nose of your mouse. Okay, I think the nose is fine. Just check again. And we are going to create a tail for your uh, mouse. Okay, to create a tail, we need to use something different shape generator and we can choose um, probably um, extrusion okay now you can see we can actually adjust the shape into any way we want uh, the height of it the width away, the length, all can be adjusted, all can be adjusted, take your time, uh, okay, click on me, and you will notice it's too thick, mm. okay, uh, reduce the height of it, to probably about 2, 1 or 2 mm, can make it thinner, if you have a good 3D printer, if not, we will try to see how it looks like when we print out the first sample. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I use this to move the tail in. Okay, move the tail up a bit and then move the uh, tail in to the mouse mm. okay you can adjust this is a bit too thick in here oh. okay this is um, complete line mm. so if you want to make it easier to print I will suggest you to um, press D so that it align on the work plane now you can check again whether your mouse, uh, the eyes and nose are in position properly. Okay, it is done. Uh, remember, you can select everything and then group together. And then we are ready to print. Okay, click export and export STL file. Oh, I forget to rename the picture. Maybe this is a mouse. Then click export, they'll export the file following your name, mouse. That's all.